everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Online Safety with Sango. I am Sango, and today we will kick off our cybersecurity season by speaking about smartphones and tablets. The internet is a great place full of exciting adventures and great opportunities for you to develop your skills and interests. For example, we can do our homework online, learn a lot about dinosaurs, check our online register, communicate with our friends and stay connected to them, play video games, listen to music and watch TV series and movies appropriate to our ages. However, the internet is also a place that hides many risks if we are not careful about our behaviour when we surf the internet, play games and more. Today we are here to learn step by step how we can protect ourselves when we communicate, play and surf online. What can we see in this image? Well, the answer is really simple. It's a house. What about now? I'm sure you know what it is. It's a tablet. A tablet, like a smartphone, is your digital home. Inside your house, you can move around thanks to light that comes in from the roof and the windows or from artificial light. This light is the internet that illuminates the rooms and allows you to do what you want inside them, like play, communicate and more. Without any light, you wouldn't be able to know what you were doing. So what are the rooms in our digital house? See, the apps represent the rooms inside our house. Our digital house can have many rooms inside it where we can do a lot of fun things like reading, playing, listening to music and talking to our friends. But what do your parents do when they're not at home? They'll probably close the windows in the rooms and lock the door of the house with a key so that your home can be protected from dangers and threats. We have to remember to do the same thing with our devices. And what is the key to our smartphone? A password! A password is the key to our digital house. A password is meant to protect me, my home address, my age and my school. It is also meant to protect my family and their personal information or to protect their money. But a password is also meant to protect all the activities we get up to in our digital house, like the games we play and the photos and videos we take. In our digital house, we have two kinds of keys that we can use, a password and a passcode. A passcode is the key to your smartphone or tablet. Without this code, any person can enter your smartphone or tablet without your permission and can access all your information, including those inside your rooms and apps. In fact, the password of the apps are saved in your smartphone or tablet and you can access them without having to use their passwords every time. A password is instead the key to the doors of your rooms. So how can we use our digital key to protect our smartphones or tablets? Remember to set a combination or a code of at least six digits to block your smartphone or tablet and try to avoid using information about your date of birth or any number that can be easily associated with you. This information would be easy to guess. Leaving your smartphone or tablet around and without a code is like leaving the door to your house open. Always lock your smartphone or tablet when you are not using it and never leave it around unattended. Instead, a password is the key to the doors of your rooms. Just like inside a real house, the key to every door is always unique. In this case, we have to create passwords that are easy to remember but difficult to guess. We should try and make them long and complicated using elements that only us and people close to us would know. We should also try to enrich them with different punctuation and numbers and by alternating between capital and lowercase letters. Remember that it has to be at least 8 characters long. Often when we surf online, we can come across adverts or notifications that tell us we have won prizes. 
It's very important to never click on them, as they are usually scams. All clear now? See you again soon for our next episode about privacy and personal information. Until then, stay safe, stay tuned, and engage. Bye!